In this video, we will talk about the various regions of the abdomen. Now, this will be a part one of the two part series of the videos. In the second video, we will discuss the organs present in the respective regions of the abdomen. And also we will talk about the differential diagnosis of the pain, which is referred to these regions. Now these are the two clavicles and below these are the two inguinal ligaments. On the medial side they are attached to the pubic tubercles on the pubic bone. Now these two pubic bones are joined by the pubic symphysis. And the lateral attachment of the inguinal ligament is to the anterior superior iliac spine. One thing I want to mention here is the difference between the mid inguinal point versus the mid point of the inguinal ligament. Now the distance between the anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic tubercle is traversed by the inguinal ligament and the middle of this ligament is known as the midpoint of the inguinal ligament. Now there is another distance which is present between the anterior superior iliac spine to the pubic symphysis and the middle point of this distance is known as the mid inguinal point and this is one of the reference points for dividing the abdomen into various regions. So to divide the abdomen into various regions, we take four lines, two of them are vertical. Above these lines pass through the mid clavicular point and below they pass through the mid inguinal point, not the midpoint of inguinal ligament. There are two horizontal lines uh, which are used in dividing the abdomen into various regions. The first of them is the subcostal plane. Now these, this plane passes through the lowermost part on the rib cage that corresponds to the 10th costal cartilage and posteriorly it corresponds to the third lumbar vertebra or the L3. Now the second plane we use is the transtubercular plane. Now this plane passes through the two tubercles on the iliac crest anteriorly and posteriorly it corresponds to the fifth lumbar vertebra. Now first we will talk about the three regions in the middle of the abdomen. The first of them is the epigastric region or the epigastrium. Now since this region lies just above the stomach, it is known as the epigastrium. And the area just below the epigastrium is the umbilical region. Now since this region corresponds to the umbilicus on the abdomen, it is known as the umbilical region. And the area just below the umbilical region is the hypogastric or the suprapubic region. Since this lies just above to the pubic bones, it is known as suprapubic. And also it lies below the stomach, it is known as the hypogastric region. And the areas on the either side of the epigastrium are the hypochondriac regions. On the left side, this is the left hypochondriac region. Now since this region corresponds just below the costal cartilages, it is known as the hypochondriac region. On the opposite side, this is the right hypochondriac region. Now the two regions on the opposite sides of the umbilical are the left lumbar and on the opposite side, it will be the right lumbar region. Now since these two regions lie just on the sides of the lumbar spine, they are named after them as the lumbar regions. And the lower areas are the left iliac and the right iliac regions. Now since these lie just above the iliac bones, these are known as the iliac regions. So this was a short description about how we divide the abdomen into 9 regions and the name of those regions. Make sure to watch the second part of this video in which we will discuss the various organs present in the respective regions of the abdomen. And also we will discuss the differential diagnosis of the pain which is referred to these regions. Make sure to like and share this video and also if you want to see more videos on this channel, make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video.